What's up guys, back with another twin motion tutorial. I'm gonna show you how I use the scatter tool to create my realistic grass in twin motion. Let's get right into the video. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna go right into the scatter tool. Before I do that, I do want to show you the texture that I use for the grass. So the material picker is here. You can click on the grass and as you can see, I use grass five and you can find that material if you go to the library materials we're gonna go to ground and go to nature and then we have several different options um, this is kind of the route that i took now others other twin motion users may have tried a different way which is cool that's fine um, i'm just kind of showing you guys what i did to accomplish uh, realistic grass in twin motion so i use the base um, grass 5 uh, texture all right so now we're gonna go to library and I'm gonna use the scatter tool on top of this texture all right so now we will go to library vegetation and we go to detail grass all right so now twin motion has different um, different type of detail grasses different options that we can choose from we got lawn zero one borders we got long grass borders and we got several other different choices uh, at our disposal all right so i'm going to choose three i want to choose three because i want to give my grass some type of variation and that gives you that realistic look that a lot of you guys try to achieve so all right guys don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell and if you got any comments don't be afraid to leave a comment down below all right so let's get started all right so i'm gonna choose long grass four oh, i'm getting ahead of myself guys let me back up just a second we're gonna go to populate and as you can see we go to scatter here and we're gonna drag these detail grasses the, my three options over here to the drop um, drop in model here to start painting on our surface all right so now i'm going to drag and drop i'm going to use the long grass border 04 i'm going to use the long grass border 01 and i'm also going to use the long 01 borders so i'm using the detail grasses and the borders because if you kind of look at our model here we have a base and i don't want my grass to scatter off this border or off this boundary so trying to keep it clean and this is a good way to do that all right so let's go back to populate now that we have our different variations of grasses chosen i'm gonna quick that one and as you can see it gives us more uh, options to change the size of the grass and the details so first let's go ahead and start scattering I'm going to go to the scatter tool and we're gonna click all right so I click just one time and then I escape to back out so I can actually go to my um, different options and details that I can change so as you can see it's at 50 percent size so as you can see we can raise the size of it we can make them longer we can make them a lot shorter all right so i'm going to leave it at 50 percent and i'm going to go to details and you can choose the growth type to uniform or wild i'm going to click it on wild and some others like to use a little bit of dryness and that kind of helps uh, to give it that realistic look and um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave it zero percent here and some people like to put tint on their grass for this one I'm not gonna put a tint I'm actually gonna put a tint on the other ones so you'll see that here in just a second all right so we're gonna leave that where it is and I think I want to use the scatter tool one more time. Just get a little bit more. All right. So 
so now we're gonna go to the long grass I'm gonna choose a different kind and then now once we choose it now as you can see the difference you can see the different variations of the grasses this one's a lot uh, more saturated and you can kind of see the yellow and the brown and the green here which is good it's giving us those different variations that I talked about so I'm gonna pick it again all right I'm gonna escape out and I'm going to show you how I changed some of the details for this one so for this size I went down to 40 percent and now we look at our growth type we got uniform and wild I'm gonna click I'm gonna keep it at wild and I'm gonna change the tint on this one I want this tint to actually be a little darker so now I'm going to change that from 200 we're going we're going to change the RGB I'm gonna do that 30 I'm gonna do 38 and 36 so now you can see that my grass is a lot darker all right so now I'm gonna to go to the next one we're gonna we're we gonna repeat the same thing over you're gonna pick the next one go your scatter tool we're going to kind of just click around as you can see it's going around my whole scene just kind of clicking around just kind of filling up the space all right so now I'm going to exit out or escape and for the size of this one I'm actually gonna want this one to be at 70 percent go to details I'm gonna keep it wild I'm gonna actually add a tint on this one as well guys don't forget to smash that like button for me and subscribe and I'm gonna make it 182 215 and 216 all right so as you can see we have different variations and you can kind of play around with it just a little more just to kind of fill up some of the areas you can kind of pick the other one too scatter tool just kind of speeding up a little bit just kind of show you the different variation types that I use as you can see my grass is not going across the border and that's what we wanted to do so all right so now that you see that we go back to our image and we can kind of fill it up a little more All right, so now that you got your image set up, you see my grass texture is looking pretty good. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, and we'll be back with another one.